Greetings and in this short video presentation we're going to see how we go about using Metapreter to backdoor a Windows XP target. So with every virtual lab that we do up here inside of this course we need to first confirm network connectivity. So on my Kali machine I have done an IF config, I have located my Ethernet Zero adapter and I have confirmed that I have an IP address ending in 133. So I'm over here on my Windows XP machine and I see that I'm on the same network and I have an IP address of 131. Now I'm going to go back on over here and I'm going to ping that 131 to see if I get a confirmation that these two machines are seeing each other. So at my terminal on my Kali machine I have typed in ping and I've given it the IP address of my Windows XP target. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it comes back with positive responses. I can go ahead and hit Control C to break the sequence and we're back to the root prompt. So at the prompt I type in clear and that cleans up my terminal so I get a nice clean working space and now we're ready to proceed on with the lab. Now if I was new to this network and I didn't know about my Windows XP machine I would go ahead and just run Nmap and I would scan the entire subnet and looking for targets or potential targets. You're free to go ahead and do an Nmap scan of your entire subnet. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to go ahead and move forward and just do the Windows XP target machine. So I've typed in Nmap space dash capital A, the IP address of my Windows XP target. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to come back with some good results. That was a long Nmap scan. And we come back and we look at the results. Now what happened here was I got tired of waiting. so I thought maybe it was hung up, so I just hit enter. Well, when you do that with Nmap, it comes up and it tells you what's going on in the background and how long it's going to take and how much time is remaining, all that fun stuff. So you can hit enter, you can get a status update on your Nmap scan. So it tells me that the ports are currently open that I need, such as 445, 3389, comes up with the MAC address, it lets me know that it's running the VMware uh, virtual machine. We also got some other information down here, such as the pipe, which is what we're interested in. We need to know this. So the target machine, in this case, is XP, running SP2, and it is the professional version. So after I've got my results with that Nmap scan, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. I'm going to go ahead and clear the terminal one more time. And at this new prompt, I'm just going to type in MSF console. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. This is going to start Metasploit. I need to create a Metapreter session with this Windows XP target. So I'm going to use my old standby for creating a reverse shell and that is the ms08 underscore 067 underscore net API. Now to do this at the msf prompt I'm going to type in the use command followed by the exploit that I want to use which is located in Windows the SMB folder and it's called ms08 underscore 067 underscore net API. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter with that and in just a moment my prompt is going to change let me know that I have now loaded the exploit. We can use the show options command to see what options need to be attended to before we can get into this Metapreter session so I've done a show options and it tells me that the remote host must be set. The port 445 is already up and running and we already have an SM pipe coming over to our browser so I'm going to go ahead and do a set remote host and type in the IP address for my Windows XP target. There's no shame in confirming anything so if you're having any doubt or any trepidation about what is the IP address of your Windows XP machine go check and come back and type it in correctly. You don't want to have to do this three or four times. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and my remote host has now been set to the IP address for my Windows XP target. With everything looking good, I'm now ready to establish that reverse shell that I need for my Metapreter session with my Windows XP target. I'm going to type in exploit and hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to establish that session for me. And we know the session established correctly because I now have a Metapreter prompt. To run some DOS commands, using the command prompt on the Windows XP remotely using my Metapreter session I can type in shell and I will establish a connection over to that Windows XP machine using a DOS prompt. We can use the NetSH 
command along with some additional syntax to check out what operational mode our firewall is in on the remote target. So I've typed in net sh space firewall space show space op mode. And if I hit enter, in just a moment it's going to come up and show me the status of the firewall. Now currently it's disabled. But you can also use the net sh command to not only disable it, but if you're a Windows administrator, you can use this command on the command prompt of any Windows machine to turn on the Windows firewall. If we enable the firewall, it will disable our session, so we're not going to do that. So at the Windows prompt, I typed exit to get me back to the Metapreter prompt so that I could run my next command. This next command is going to allow me to look at all the options I have for setting the username and password for the remote desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Give it a second here. We can see that the dash U sets the username and that the dash P sets the password. So we're going to go ahead and finagle us a little bit of a command here. And you can use any username and password you want. Just remember what it is. So I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to go ahead and paste what's in the lab. And we're going to run the get GUI and we're going to give it a space, a dash U. And the username I'm going to log on with is Mad Dog. And I'm going to give it another space. And the password I'm going to use is hacked. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now it tells you a lot of information here on this terminal and you've got to pay attention because we have a cleanup script that's going to remove this user mad dog and get rid of the password that we set for mad dog. So make sure that you type in the following when you're all done and you want to clean up your mess or your tracks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to bring me up a text file. And on this text file here, I'm just going to go ahead and paste this. And now I'm just going to minimize it. And now when I'm all done and I want to clean up my tracks, I can use this helpful script that will do all the work for me. We're all done with Metapreter and we're all done with Metasploit. So we can just type in exit twice. Type it in one more time. That brings us back to a prompt and you can type in clear. And now you'll have a clear terminal to work with. So I've cleared my terminal one more time, and we're now ready to establish that remote desktop session with my Windows XP target. So I've typed in R desktop space dash U, my username Mad Dog space dash P, my password of hack space the IP address of the target. Let's go ahead and see if we can now get some connectivity going here. And our remote desktop session pops up. And it lets me know that this, the administrator has disconnected from the computer. Do you want to continue? I say yes. Now you have to be patient because it's going to take a few minutes for it to acknowledge some messages that are popping up over there on the XP machine. But once that happens, you will get your remote desktop. So I'm now in to my Windows XP target using RDP from my Kali machine. And I pretty much have the run of this machine as an administrator and I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to go up here to my taskbar and I'm going to find the RD desktop. I'm going to go ahead and quit. That brings it back to my prompt. I'm now going to go back into my Metapreter session and we're now going to clean up my mess that we created over there on the Windows XP target using that script. So remember I'm just using my up arrows as I'm going through here and I'm finding the information that I need, such as I need to load the exploit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Let that happen. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the remote host one more time. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit exploit. And in just a moment, I'll have my Metapreter session back up and running. And there it is. Now I'm ready to bring up the script or the text file that has the script. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this on over. Just going to right click in there and copy that. Now I'm just going to minimize this. And I'm going to take it on over here to my Metapreter session. And I'm just going to paste that on in there like so. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to come back hopefully and tell me that everything's been cleaned up. And it says that it successfully deleted Mad Dog. All right. Well, very good. Yes, that was very good. But we're not quite done cleaning up our tracks yet. We have to get rid of all the event logs. Anybody with a little bit of knowledge could go in and locate and figure out that, yeah, this machine is hacked. 
But we don't want to give him that ammo, so we're going to do another command here called clear EV or clear the events. And we're wiping out 75 records from application, 120 records from system, and zero records from security. We're now ready to kill any jobs that may be left running. So I'm going to type in exit. And at my next prompt, I'm going to type in jobs space dash capital K. I'm going to copy and paste that right in from the lab, just like that. And that's going to stop all jobs. So by now, you should be getting used to using Metasploit and figuring out how to get a real quick down and dirty Metapredator session going on with your target machine. Now, a lot of these labs will work with newer operating systems, but I will tell you that if the firewall is enabled, Windows Defender is running, or McAfee is up and running, and it has a firewall or a Symantec, then the lab will obviously fail. This type of an exploit, this type of lab is designed for machines that have their firewall turned off, they've not been patched, and they have weak passwords. In this short video presentation, we saw how to use Metapredator to backdoor a Windows XP target. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about the lab or the video, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.